Hey guys, welcome back to the Furtado Group. I'm Ruben Furtado, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you actually can improve your odds of selling your house quicker and for top dollar. And I think the timing is so critical. As you guys remember, last week we talked about the new mortgage rules and how that's actually impacting the market currently. We're seeing a lot more activity. So if you're considering selling, and this goes to anybody who's going to think of selling privately or whether you're using a discount brokerage or even if you're going to use a, a very reputable brokerage as well, these are all things that you need to be having conversations with your real estate agent or you're going to be doing yourself. So please listen carefully because I'm going to tell you that all these things that I talk about have served us really well in Photography, helping us sell for top dollar and sell quickly. So number one, before you even put the house in the market, you need to go around and do a quick checklist of what needs to be done to the house. All too often I see people wanting to add additional improvements thinking it's going to help them get top dollar. Maybe it's redoing a kitchen, something as simple as putting a granite countertop in. And I say stop. Let's first, before we add any new features, let's make sure that we're addressing anything that is um, that has some sort of deficiency, anything that is actually missing. So I'll give you an example. Let's say the fridge is in really poor shape. So you know what? They've, there's no fridge in the house. Well, I don't want to be putting a countertop in. It's going to be more important to have a fridge there, right? Why? Because it's obviously missing. And then in a photo, it's going to look unfinished. So I'd rather not spend the money on the countertop. Let's fix the problem. So keep that in mind. That applies to anything. So think of what the problem is. Fix that before you spend any money on features. Um, also, when you're fixing something, let's say there's some tiles. It's an, un it's an outdated color. It's, you know, it looks like it's something from your, your grandfather's house. Well, instead of maybe replacing the tile, there's all kinds of solutions out there right now. You can actually buy certain enamel paints that you can paint over it, and that would actually change the house so it doesn't look so dated. So now that we've actually kind of gone, did our checklist, fixed all that, the next thing is we got to figure out how to make this house look even more amazing. We're trying to create that wow factor. So if it's vacant, right, so some people flipping and it's a vacant house, I'm going to tell you, photos are going to look pretty crappy when there's nothing in the room. So we need to stage that house. Now, if you already live there and you have some oversized furniture or maybe the furniture is in really poor shape, that's going to devalue the house. So maybe you need to go out and buy new furniture and you need to buy furniture that is going to be, um, you know, the right size dimension to actually work within that space. If you don't have any design or interior design sense, I'm going to tell you something, don't start going buying furniture because you might make the place look just as bad, if not worse. So try to find a friend, a family member who has good interior design skills or hire somebody. So now that the place looks great, all the deficiencies are fixed, added a couple new features. Now we want to make sure it's going to be showcased great because we're going to put it on either privately if it's going to Gigi or Craigslist, I don't care. The first thing people are going to see are going to be the pictures and that's what's going to draw them in. These pictures have to have wow factor. So. Back to my point, get a professional photographer. Do not try to take these pictures with your iPhone because the lighting will not look the same. So those pictures are gonna be crucial to get somebody engaged and wanna pick up the phone to book an appointment to come through. Now, I, I don't just like relying on pictures because I think pictures don't create enough emotion. A lot of the buyers that actually buy our listings, they are, um, sometimes they're traveling. It could be a way of business or maybe one of the family members is here and then they want to share it with another family member that's overseas. So the video is the closest thing to actually being at the house. So we do videos. And when I say video, I'm not talking about um, a slideshow. It drives me nuts where you see it literally. It's a picture zooming in and then another one casting down and it's got some piano music. That literally puts me to sleep and it devalues the house. It looks really tacky. If you ever looked at our listings and you see some of the videos, we hire the top videographers and, and, and when you see that the music that they even put and the, and the architectural angles that they take really showcase the house at its best and create that emotion and I think that's going to be so key to get people excited and even after they come through the house they go back and they revisit that video and they remember why they loved it so much. Those videos are going to be really important. So now once you have all that done the next and probably the, the most important thing is to create urgency. So the house is listed now. It looks great. Hopefully you've already figured out to price it right. How do you create urgency for a buyer? Well, the day the listing comes out is very critical. So within the Fertile Group, we're very strategic on the day it comes out and the, even the hour that it comes out because in the back end systems, there's these prospecting reports that search that are set up for buyers and we know exactly what time those batch reports run. So we try to set that up. And then the other thing too is to create a separate compelling event. 
something that right after the listing comes on, that there is an event that's coming up that a buyer may think that might drive another buyer to come through. So let's just imagine that it's, you know, the listing comes out on a Thursday, you have an open house scheduled for Sunday. So a buyer comes through on Thursday or Friday, now they know of this open house coming Sunday, they're gonna not wanna wait till Sunday and take some action and submit an offer on the house. So that compelling event, figure out, there's a lot of different things we do to create that, but that's gonna be important because that's what's gonna get the buyer to take action and hopefully put an offer on your house. I hope this information helps. I know I went through it really quickly. I wanna to try to keep these videos short for you guys. So if you have any comments, please add your comments to the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and thanks for watching. Guys, take care.